Hello, my name is John Nutz. I'm going to take a few minutes to show you through the IBM Kix Explorer. On this welcome screen, you get an overview. You can go to tutorials, you can take first steps, or you can just go straight to the workbench, which is what I'm going to do. So from the workbench you have a number of uh, perspectives. Uh, the Kix SM perspective takes a look at operational resources and administrative, res administrative resources through the Kix Plex SM interface. Kix IA and Kix CM provide their own resources for these products. And I'm going to start with the resource perspective. This is where I get access to my Kix performance analyzer data, which is here in this uh, DB2 data source on my um, System Z machine. I was running some tests last week and I know that uh, between I think it was 10 o'clock and 10.40 uh, I'm, I'm doing a shift select to select these this group of test cases or this time period and I'm going to get a performance history view, a thread safe view which shows me that this mail transaction here was running using 46 change modes. These are TCB switches. Every time it was running it was doing 46 TCB switches. None of the other transactions seem to be doing any. So this seems to be my candidate for further analysis. Um, if, if, I, if I just move this mouse wheel or use this resize bar I can get a little more detail into the uh, into the the CPU times that were used uh, between the L8, the Key 8 TCB and the QR. And if you're not sure what the colours mean, you can click on the legend and it will highlight the colours for you. So I'm going to select one of these transactions and I'm going to get a, a detailed breakdown of that. Um, so it's showing me again 50% of the time Key 8, 50% of the time QR and it's doing 21 MQ requests. So I've got some opportunity here to m to stay on the LA TCB where those MQ requests are being done and uh, reduce the contention on the QR. So what do I do now? Now I need to understand what this transaction is made of. Kix Performance Analyzer and the SMF records show me usage by transaction type but I actually want to see what programs are involved because in Kix I need to make programs thread safe not transactions and I see I've got four, tra four programs TST4, CVD1 through CVD4 and these are the resources used by all of these programs some programs, some MQQs um, these are the operations that are done some TST, some TSQ operations so it looks like we're reading from MQ right into TSQ or reading from TSQ and writing to MQ as mail is interchanged between two systems. But none of these other requests are shared storage or CWA requests that would suggest that I have some potential integrity errors within this uh, within these programs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chance and just do a quick test to see whether see what happens when I make them so I'm over in Configuration Manager now, the KixCM perspective. There is a Plex defined with some resources in the, uh, the Kix Plex repository and there's a group called Mail and it has some program definitions and as you see they're all defined as concurrency quasi-rent, quasi-re-entrant, which means they're effectively not thread safe. I'm going to change that. I'm going to open this resource, I get this nice smart editor and instead of talking about quasi reentrant, which is a, a very specific term but not everybody knows what it means, it just says thread safe. I can set this to thread safe, I can save, let's get rid of that, um, let's move this back a bit and now I see it's thread safe, concurrency thread safe. I'm going to install that into my development system Red Dev 41 and it says here it's been installed successfully now I can go look in my SM perspective looking at Red Dev 41 I want to look at 
programs and for Red Dev 41, TSD4C VB1, it's now defined as being thread safe and it's in the system. So when I run a new test of my mail program, I can now collect some data with uh, this program and I'll go around and I'll change all of these other four programs to make them all thread safe as well, rerun my test. So in uh, just like many of these cases, I happen to have run some tests earlier on and I'm going to, I knew I ran them from 1040 to 1055, so I'm going to do a thread safe analysis of them as well. And what do I see? Let's get rid of this. I see the thread switches are down to 18 from 46 see them both side by side by doing a little bit of nifty <coughs> eclipsery which shows which shows the difference 23 or mainly 40, 18 against 46 again if I look say at a, um, a particular example here and do a detailed breakdown uh, I can show that against this one where this uh, pie chart is showing distinctly that whereas before there was 50-50 between the L8 and the QR now it's more like 57-43 I've moved quite a bit of work from the QR TCB onto the L8 TCB If I look at response time these are long running transactions which have user interaction so they always take about 9 seconds but if I look at the dispatch wait time which is the usually in this case the time they've had to wait um, before they've been redispatched on the QRTCB when in the non thread safe case this was 0.4 of a second in the thread safe case this was 0.27 of a second so that's 0 0.027, 0 0.04 so there's a significant difference there, 0.02 of a, of a second if for 20 requests, if this was 200 requests that would be 0.2 of a second, it's starting to be a significant improvement in response time. So um, what I could do now is I could say well I've, I've run my test I'm now going to go and I'm going to back out those changes because I don't want other people to be inconvenienced by them. Um, I'm now going to perhaps run a more significant test, so I, I will. I can now restore the um, the position to as it was before. Now the definition is back to quasi reentrant. I can um, reinstall that change back into my development region. So everybody else now can uh, run mail and it, it's as it was before and um, I can make my change normally. So I showed how I can use Kix Performance Analyzer to identify opportunities for thread safety um, to um, then use Kix Interdependency Analyzer directly from that view to show how the uh, the transactions break down into programs and show which kicks commands are being used by those programs. Use kicks configuration manager to make changes to the resource definitions and then install them into the running kick system, rerun my tests. So that's uh, uh, all within the kicks explorer. Um, I think uh, I'll leave you where I started from in this welcome stream. Thank you very much.